Now it's uh, 10 p.m. It's okay, you know, two hour jump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the 80s. Yeah, what's up YouTube? So today, whoa. So today, Jude is gonna be coming over with this AW11 and we're gonna be installing a T3 steering rack, which is supposed to be quicker than the stock one. So hopefully it makes a difference and we'll see if it does afterwards after the install. But anyways, I know you guys wanted to see some AW11 content, so this is it. So let's see how it goes. Oof. What's up, vloggers? Oh, wait, I'm the vlogger. <laughs> pop, the, pop the hood. How does this work? Hot 2 Jay-Z. No shit. No shit. Welcome to the 80s. One and a half? Huh? <laughs> I don't know. What the? The center. Okay, center. One and a half? All right. One, One. and a half. Okay, so from here, let's see. Let's just say here. One, One. Two, two, three, three and a half. Okay, so it should go uh, after we install it to three. So one, two, three. So it should be quicker. Huh? Or it should be shorter turns and then a quicker ratio. Oh. From what I understand. I'm not helping you take it off to return it, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, first thing first, I'm gonna take off the wheel. Um, huh? Huh? I'm gonna take off the seat. Um, so that we can access the little U-joint on the bottom the steering joint. I'm going to mark those up uh, and then pop the outer tie rods um, and then four bolts for the subframe thingy and then four bolts for the um, steering rack. It's pretty simple. Ah. So it should take like, you know, five minutes. Good thing you came over at seven. <laughs> <laughs> right there. That's the part. There's two bolts and we just gotta mark the bottom and the top bottom top so you delete this mini subframe first which yeah, has dirt. four bolts if you can't figure that part out you should give up <laughs> and then we take off the tie rods and then we can drop the steering rack what is it does it come out this hole no uh yes yes yeah we can just slide it out god this chassis is so weird like it's like so unnecessarily cave-like. <laughs> yeah, there's literally no access <laughs> yeah, like, from here. Like, what is this? This is a whole solid tub. tub. Like, it's so much easier if they just didn't do that, too. Like, making it. Yeah. It's but it's, it's still pretty simple. Like the yeah. MRS, they just gave up. Just made it a frame <laughs> with, like, a plastic tub. They didn't invent plastic in the 90, 1980s. Ah. Yeah, that's why. Fun fact. Oh shit. Yeah. I took a materials class in high school. Wait, why doesn't this side <coughs> rub? I don't know. Oh! The cam. My top hats. So this one... Is the middle, right? And that oh, one's yeah. maxed out. We can fix it then. But it's gonna fuck up my alignment. But I need to get an alignment anyways. You're going to. You want me to do it now? Since you're gonna get an alignment anyway? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you got a... You got a cigarette button here. <laughs> Where's that from? You smoking, bro? Damn, this car's smoking. It's bunta. So we have to remove these. Oh, I already got the bushings in here. Nice. Oh shit, my ears delete. It's 17. God damn. Uh, anyways, you take those off. Pretty straightforward. Damn, I gotta do my steering rack bushings. <laughs> you haven't done it yet? Uh -uh. Need to help. Should just come out, but 
All right. Uh, we caught it. Focus. Had to, uh, drop. Well, not drop, but loosen the heater lines and AC lines. But you know, it's all good. Now we have this bad boy, not courtesy of T3. Jeez. Welcome to my unboxing. Unbox therapy. Get some ASMR. Get the mm. Docs me with my address. <laughs> uh, thumbnail. Oh, <laughs> thumbnail. Wow. Wow. Steering, steering rack specific foam. <laughs> oh. What does T3 it say? X flows. Wow. But I thought it's an 8.6 rack. You gotta set the alignment. <laughs> You're on your own, dog. Part of me so like. Oh, you have to count the spins? Yeah. Count the spins. This is not going to be accurate, but whatever. It's good enough for now. Count the spins. Holy shit. shit. What is this? AliExpress? No, rod? this is Moog. Moog? Yeah, like the most expensive one you can find on Rock Auto. How long has this been? Only like a year. Two years. Two years? Yeah. But the car's uh, stored outside. So? Did you paint this too? No. Oh. It came, um... It had like a came rusted. Oh, <laughs> it was like dark black, so I thought it was like you know treated or whatever. Spin. It's upside. Down. Oh, what's going on, guys? Day two. We day got Wendy's. Four yeah. for four. Day two of two hour install. Yeah. We got Perfect. Wendy's four for four. For the BTS sauce from I don't know when. Uh, Last year. Want, this is gonna be listed on eBay. Um, Thirty dollars. It's never open. Yeah, um, gotta start the day off right. Four for four. <laughs> start the day. <laughs> All right, update. This is day two. Day two of two-hour install. We got import direct. You know, because it's an import. Oh yeah. Tie rod ends. So spray to baby Jesus that this works. So a little summary, because I did like stop filming. We got the rack in. And it was ass. Yep. And you had to like wiggle it out through the bat cave and then put the new one in. And now the tie rod is a mushroom cloud and we can't thread the nut on. Without cross threading. <laughs> Who hammered this? Damn, I don't know dude. My assistant. What? Huh? Wait, we're gonna, you know, quick uninstall. Well, they're rusty anyway. Yeah, exactly. So, I guess the whole point of this video, since you pretty much skipped the whole install, <laughs> fresh. Like, <clears throat> if anyone wants this, uh, wait, are they already bad? It's only been two years. No, they're still stiff. Um, I was like, hey, I'm picking up, uh, and dude was like, okay, well, let me check. And, like, walked around in the back for a while, and then. Wait, when did they notify you that it was here? It, they didn't. They're supposed to, but, and then he pulled up the computer. He's like, oh, it's here. Um, but no one processed it. I was like, bro, <laughs> I saw on the screen, they have four, four online orders today and they did two and then there's other two. And I ordered mine at 6 a.m. this morning. They had all, and I, I was there at four. They had all this time to do their job. But well, it's I okay, mean... when, when I got there, they're like, oh, it's right here. Dude, <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay. Wait, did you? S the steering wheel isn't centered. Hmm? The steering wheel is not centered. Oh shit! You're right. Okay, so we're three days in. Just kidding. <laughs> so yeah. uh, update. The the steering's off, and we set the toe or eyeballed the toe um, on both sides, but the steering was only one turn to the left, and then like two turns to the right, so it wasn't centered at all. So, so what what did I say? So, big brain over here, take off the hub, or we, we, we went through this like 18 times, trying to find the center, we found the center. I did it by a set of course of feel. <laughs> so now, we found the center, now we're, we're gonna, gonna move it. this here, and then we should be good. Bar. Oh, see, it's basic. Very nice. Okay, so the steering rack is installed, and Jude's going overtime. He gave me two more stickers, so it's all good. Straight 
That's what we call bartering, baby. <laughs> and a four for four. And a, yeah. Talk um, about passive. We're talking about passive income. Subscribe for more. Deal. Would you rather have a million dollars right now, or a dollar every year for the rest of your life? <laughs> Tell me now. Answers in the comment below. So we're gonna install um, or I'm not installing shit. G's gonna install his 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 brake pads on the rear, cause they didn't come in time for the last track day. What pads are these? Uh, Porterfield R4s. Mm. Racing, brother. I don't want any property damage. See how far it's going up? Why don't you just lift it on the side? <laughs> Turn it sideways. Look. I've never worked on a car before. <laughs> oh shit, there's my e brake. Why did they design it? All MR2s have like the shittiest handbrake design. So what do you think? Dude, it's so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, did the Sigma grind set pay off? No, it looks quicker. Yeah. Like look. It's like your car, well, not as much, but. Yeah, nice try, dog. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. It's closer to your car now. Yeah, yeah. It looks... When I drove your car, it was like, when we did this, it actually went like that. Like, it actually yeah. like, had input. But when I did mine, it'll be like, you know, this whole area is a dead. Uh, yeah, now it looks like side. it actually does shit. Yeah. Dude, my steering steers. How's the self-alignment? Not bad. <laughs> A plus. Good enough. How's the steering? Gun it's like, it's so much more responsive. Close the window a little. Yeah, it feels so much heavier though. You can get a bigger wheel. Handbrake? The handbrake's all the way down. Maybe I need to adjust it. Well, don't. Jesus. I should probably stop the car, huh? Well, it wouldn't make a difference. Just don't put the handbrake up. Yeah. Oh, shit. Put the handbrake up? Yeah. Roll the car. Okay. That's good. That's good. As long as it's not seen. Why did it do that? I don't know. Alright, update. Okay, everything feels well, really nice. Except for the the brakes are welding itself. Yep. Uh, that's good. Who did this? I, I didn't install. Damn, that's smoky. Mmm, asbestos. Fuck, oh, man. Should I just put the old brakes back? Brake pad? Uh, I don't know. Just to get it home. You have brake lube. What lube? Like brake, like for the sliders. You can just put any. Yeah, I have lube. Okay. I think we need something like that for that, and just like go up and down for it until the sliders uh, loosen up. 
Or I can adjust the handbrake. I think the handbrake's just tight. But I also don't want to do that because it's all the way underneath the car. <sighs> Cursed. This is the real Toge files. I shouldn't have done any of this. Well, what's funny is, if you just did the rack, this would have been sweet. I knew it. No. <laughs> All right, we'll have... God, this is a... Uh... Oh! <laughs> How's that, is that? What is that supposed to do? Uh, it's supposed to, like... Um, straight like uh, stretch the cable stretch the cable a little bit and because right now it's like bent up like this <laughs> so maybe you like it'll, like strain it out I don't know shit's fucked it's okay we'll make it back all right so we have a seized caliper hey Lameo. <laughs> 48 hours of pain. <laughs> hey, anyone wants an MR2 <laughs> for sale? <laughs> Shit's cursed. Damn boy, got COVID. Damn, that's not bad. It's like 600 degrees on the rear brakes. Nah, you, you're good. <laughs> Why are you suiting up again? <laughs> God. <laughs> hey, before we left, I packed the whole car as if we're gonna go home. And now we're back in the garage. And now it's at 10 p.m. It's okay, you know, two hour job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing I have real wheels. If it was JNC, it would have melted. <clears throat> are you just gonna undo the handbrake or are you gonna. Uh, Check well, the slider pin first. In order to actually like do the brake pad right, you're supposed to take off the handbrake oh. mechanism right here. Did you do that? No, I didn't because it's too much work. So you got to pull this pin out, unbolt this, and then unpin this. So let's do that now. Let's see the. I think it's. Oh, fuck. What? The last of my clip. What clip? Oh. <laughs> Everything is pain. Everything looks fine, right? It's, it's, it's not hot anymore. Yeah. All right, I'll have fun. Yeah, you can just film. Hold the flashlight, son. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Barely. Barely. All right. Okay. Let's uh, what's this? 19, nope, too big. 17. 14. Bro. 14. Yes. Damn. Talk time knows. Follow me for more tips and tricks. Oh, that. This dude really turning it the wrong way. <laughs> this dude really cross-threading everything, huh? This is the right way, and we didn't do this. But yeah, see how much it's pulling out? That means there's a lot of tension on the handbrake. So I feel like the handbrake's just, since the pads are thicker than stock, or at least feel, felt like it, so the handbrake's just seized on there. But I think also the slider pins are a little seized, so we're just gonna clean it. We'll test it now. Oh just, shit. Is it better? I mean, look, <laughs> I can just freeze it rotates on its own. So that was it, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. But I'm just going to keep disassembling this so that I can just, I don't know, put it somewhere. Just attach it here or something. Because I don't want it dangling. You can just put it loose, right? Or can you adjust the handbrake? I can, but... It's, it's under it's the not, car? Yeah, it's under the car, underneath all the under trays. So I have to take off this under tray. The end <laughs> Go home. The middle one, and then adjust it under the car. So, are you gonna need the slider pin? Huh? Uh, probably. Yeah. Just okay. push it up and down. Okay. So, 
the brake moves freely now. I um, unbolted the handbrake bracket. It's always been problematic on these cars, um, but I might just be doing everything wrong, so don't quote me on that. Um, but as you can see, it's it's not sliding up and down as, as freely as it should be, as it should be, you know. So we're gonna add some lube underneath here, the sliders, and move it back and forth up and down, and hopefully that'll alleviate our problem. But even without doing this, and just unlatching the uh, handbrake um, cable bracket, it was freely moving. So I think our issue was our handbrake was dragging. So I think the, sol the actual solution for this would be to go underneath and adjust the brake cables, the handbrake cables, but fuck that shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna uh, unbolt the bracket for this and just run no handbrakes for now. I don't, I don't really park this on a hill. Um, so I'm not, it's not too much of an issue. The issue is making sure I, my car doesn't fucking catch on fire. <laughs> so we're just, this is what we're doing right now? Yeah. <laughs> Shit. I'm gonna cry. <laughs>
Instead of a cruiser, we've moved up to aggressive enjoyer. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'd say. Okay, aggressive enjoyer. Aggressive enjoyer. You can definitely push it a lot more confidently. Yeah. Now we now it needs a 20 belt. 7 AG or a be beans. Josh, if you're selling your 7 AG. <laughs> <laughs> No, but it is good now. It feels feels a lot better. What did you think? It's your car. You drove it. Yeah. No, it, it feels better, but it is significantly like heavier on the steering, which is I mean, it's fine, but you know, definitely feels different from what it was. And I feel like I'm gonna slightly relearn how to drive this car again. I mean, if anything, it's easier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It just feels better. Like I, I remember like, you know, last time I was autocross with this car, or just all of the autocrosses, it takes a lot of effort just to get the car to dart into, you know, the gates and try to get as close to the um, cones as possible. Yeah, you're literally like, I would look, if you watch my video, I'm just like this, just to go through like two turns. So this is definitely gonna help. Yeah. Hand over hand, no, no, um, reduce the hand over hand, but probably still gonna be there. Um, would I recommend other AW11 owners to get this? Absolutely. But just be warned that there's a lot of hardships. That, I mean, <laughs> maybe for me, because I'm not really a mechanic, but with especially the poly bushing. The bushing doesn't fit well. Yeah, the bushing doesn't fit well. Um, another member of the, or the AW11 community, Simon, he said that he used um, the OEM bushings so that it squishes in more. Uh, the biggest issue is the, since this was, I, you know, we're assuming that this is just literally the same rack as for, as the A, A86 Ultimate rack from T3. Um, the the left side or the passenger side, um, the diameter is bigger on where the mount is, so it makes um, install very difficult. Um, but we, I mean, we made it work, just a little cross-threaded on <laughs> one of the bolts. That was just, uh, that's more install error. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, true, that's true. guys. It's a manufacturing error. It's 11 p.m. on day two, and I still have to try. <laughs> still have to try. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.